On page 13 of your workbook, there's a synopsis of what the uh, leads look at. And um, um, this is a, uh, an overview of what each of the individual leads look at. And you can pause this at any time if you want to review it. Um, but you'll notice here that under ABR, I said that it represents the square root of squat. Well, that's probably true when it comes to uh, interpretation of acute myocardial infarct. But there is value to ABR, and in particular, um, we look at ABR to see that our lead placements are on correct. So if the, the P wave and the QRS should be inverted normally in ABR, and if they're not, chances are your limb leads are off. So let's look at the individual leads. So the inferior leads are 2, 3, and ABF. These represent the inferior portion of the left ventricle, which is fed uh, most of the time by the right coronary artery, or the RCA. And um, uh, so the inferior portion is down here for your left ventricle. And if a patient has an inferior wall infarct, you'll recall that the gold standard is to look at the right side of precordial leads because the RCA feeds the right ventricle. So we need to see if there's evidence of an RV infarct uh, with SD elevation in V4R, V5R, or V6R. In this case, we only need to see ST segment elevation in one lead, not two anatomically contiguous leads. Because the RCA also feeds the posterior wall, the right and left ventricle, we look for evidence of posterior wall infarct in the form of ST depression in V1 and V2. And that's because V1 and V2 are anterior leads looking at a posterior wall infarct. And um, so we look at uh, ST elevation in 2, 3, or AVF, two of those leads, and depression in V1 and V2, and that would suggest a posterior wall infarct. If you really want to confirm those with a posterior wall infarct, we uh, place three additional electrodes on the back uh, V7, V8, V9, and they go in a straight line with V6. V7 goes at the posterior axillary line, V8 goes at the mid scapula line, and V9 goes at the left vertebral border. These are the anterior septal leads. So V1 and V2 are considered septal leads, which is the interventricular septum. V3 and V4 are considered anterior leads. So in order to say definitively that you have an anterior wall MI, there has to be ST elevation in V3 and V4. If you see it in all four leads, we call it an anterior septal wall infarct. So we're talking septum here and anterior wall. So this is the LAD, left anterior descending coronary artery that feeds the anterior wall. These are the lateral leads that are fed by the circumflex artery in most, most cases. Uh, well, virtually all cases, in fact. And so V5, V6 are low lateral. 1 and AVL are high lateral. That means that if you had ST elevation in all four of these leads, you're dealing with a proximal occlusion of the circumflex. If you had ST elevation in V5, V6, we're looking at a more distal occlusion of the circumflex. And uh, this is the lateral aspect of the left ventricle. Um, these are the anterior lateral wall leads, and so if a patient occluded their left main coronary artery before it bifurcates into the LAD and the circumflex, this patient would sustain a massive infarct, and you would see ST elevation, uh, well, possibly in V1 as, one, as well, but V1 right through V6 and 1 in AVL, and that's a very serious MI. So this would be the entire anterior lateral wall surface, and these patients are very high risk of um, uh, sudden failure and uh, uh, at risk of becoming hemodynamically unstable. So when you look at the cardiogram from, um, uh, you know, when we attempt to diagnose acute myocardial infarcts, I like to look at it from left to right. So I look at the inferior leads first, 2, 3, and AVF for ST elevation. Start with those, kind of a boot down to the bottom left-hand side of the page. And if I don't see anything there, then I move to the anterior leads, which is V1 right through V4. The anterior is specifically v V3, V4, but V1 and V2 are the septal leads. And if I don't see anything there, then I look at the lateral leads. And the lateral leads are V5 and V6. And also, if you recall, V1 and AVL. So those are the lateral leads. So it's important to go through this uh, systematically, step by step. Again, starting from left to right, inferior leads, 2, 3, AVF, anterior septal leads, V1 through V4, and lateral leads, V5, V6, 1, and AVL.